Hey guys, today we're talking about something special. We're talking about budget fishing gear. You don't always need the most expensive gear. In fact, I have found a really, really nice $12 budget Shimano reel that I want to share with you guys. Oh! Woohoo! So this reel was actually suggested to me by a subscriber about a year ago. Here it is, the Shimano iX1000R. Wow, yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that. This is a white perch, one of my favorite fishes to eat. Now let me just say this, I am in no way sponsored by Shimano. This is a genuine review because I want to show you guys a really nice budget reel. This is a great, very affordable fishing reel that I've been testing for six to seven months already. I really like it, I can really stand by it, and I think you should try it if you're looking for a budget reel yourself. Don't waste your money and, and try and find a good one. I really like this one. And this is just the small size. It goes up, it goes up way bigger than this. I'm using this for smaller panfish, bait fish, inshore stuff. But you can get a bigger size, it's a little bit more expensive, but it works really well. And my favorite part is that it's by Shimano. Shimano is one of my favorite brands, and um, I usually have more of their mid-range, high-range stuff. So it was really nice to see that they have this really great, affordable, uh, low-end reel right here. Mm -hmm. There's some really special things about this reel I want to show you guys. But first, let's do some fishing. There we go. <laughs> what a perfect example. Oh look, okay. This is also a perfect example. You see how eggs are coming out of it right now? It's spawning. It's a female as well. It's, this should be let go if you can. And right now I'm catching so many fish that I have the choice to let some go. It's okay. Some people, you know, you only catch one or two fish in the whole day, then keep it, that's fine. But know that these female breeder ones are the ones that continue to populate the water, that continue to help the ecosystem thrive with this fish. It's really important that you let some of them go. All right, last time we discovered that the squiddy bits worked really well for these kind of fish, this kind of fishing. The tentacles come with an entire mantle, a lot of squid. And all we need is one little pinch just like this. This is gonna be good for dozens of fish. And now I've got a high-low rig right here. This is actually a sabiki rig with little shrimp patterns tied on. Just put it on just like this. All right? So this will be fluttering in the water. It'll look good. Nice one. Awesome. Good eating fish right here. And the squiddy bit stays on. Same thing, let's do it again. I think I should tighten up that drag a little bit. That's the cool part about this reel. The drag is down here. Twist it left for less drag, twist it right for more drag. And the reason you wanna, you wanna set your drag is if it's all the way tightened. Nice. Another good one. Anyways, as I was saying, oh, the hook broke. The hook finally broke. On my, oh my gosh, I love this fly, no! It's broken. Okay, I'm gonna use the second best one, which is this one. Can I use this one, Aaron? Let me see. Aaron, you tied this one. This one looks great. Yes, you may use it. Thank you. If I lose it, it's Mr. Perch's fault. I love this pattern. I gotta tie more of these. We'll do the same thing. On. 
Whoa! Another jumbo one. This is nice. Really nice. All right, please still have my bait. Oh, yes! Still on there. Look at that. That's a good one. This reel is good for many different kinds of fishing. It's also good for constant casting because look at this. It's got a quick fire system where you pull this back and it's casted, your fingers on the line, you're ready to go. I'm right at the edge of a channel, between a channel and some slower moving water. This is always a great place to try because fish are moving through this channel with the tides. So I'm just gonna drop it straight down here and just jiggle it around. Oh, and I got a bite already. Oh, I missed another one. But that's okay, that's why I like this bait. It's because I can, I, can, I can leave it down there and set the, the hook on the fish that count. So these little ones nipping at it, I don't have to worry about it. I can just leave it down there. I gotta, this is so fun. I know I bring this stress upon myself, but I love it. Here, I'm getting bites. Look at that. Wow, another one. <laughs> Dang. Squid still on. What is this? I have no idea. Oh, it's a catfish. Holy crap, that was scary. I thought it was enormous, enormous like perch or like a bass or something. It's scary on this little rod. That was crazy. I barely hooked it, oh my God. That was crazy. See you, dude. This reel, this reel itself, it doesn't feel flimsy. It feels pretty sturdy itself. Um, but I do see one con, which is the anti-reverse right here. It takes a little bit to get it back into anti-reverse. You see that? It's fine here, but during certain spots, it's kind of annoying. But honestly, for $12, you can't beat the price. This is such a great little reel. I remember as a kid using this reel, a very similar reel to this. I'm pretty sure it's the same model. It had a quick fire system from Shimano. And the quick fire system is this right here. You can, in one click, get ready for it to cut. <laughs> I like how as, as I talk about the reel, I'm catching fish. It's, it's really fun. It doesn't get more genuine than that. I'm not allowed to target these. Nice. That's crazy. Is that just right here? Yep.
Whoa, stuck him. There we go. That was fun. They just hit so quickly and they're so fierce. Nice one. Bait stays on. That's what I love about it. Good old squiddy bits. Oh my god. That's a nice one. Wow. There we go. Man, these things hit so hard. This reel is really holding up too. It's really fun on an ultra light reel like this. I think I've got six pound on here. And when these perch run through, they, they run through in a big school of them. So usually when you hit one, drop it right back down, you'll get another. Or cast it right back out to the same spot and you'll get another. It's been my lucky day, because I brought my lucky rag. But that's the end of it. The tide is slacked again, and uh, I'm just tired of catching fish. <laughs> oh, so many fish. That was a lot of fun, and the perfect example of why I like to use my Shimano uh, budget reel. It's very sturdy. It gets the job done for a lot of different kinds of fish. I caught a striped bass a lot of different size perch. I caught a lot of perch today and this reel was very reliable, very fun reel to use. This is not junk to me. This is gold. So the pros of this is that one, the price, $12. You can't beat that. Two, um, I really like this quick fire system. Three, I like the dragging system, the drag system itself. I think it's uh, pretty reliable. There's fish everywhere here. <laughs> This drag system is really great, and I like it. Uh, it's reliable. Uh, I've caught many fish on it, big and small. Another pro, it's Shimano. I like Shimano brand. I like this handle right here. It feels great to hold. It feels sturdy. Con, the anti-reverse. I don't like it that much because it's just a little janky. But overall, it's a great reel. I hope this video helps you decide on getting a new budget reel for yourself. If you need any more help, visit us at hayskipperfishing.com. We do a lot of ebooks and tutorials online to teach you guys how to fish, whether it be surf fishing, pier fishing, jetty fishing, you name it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Huh? I hear the ice cream. Me too.